Welcome to the FileAid for DB2 Extract Load Utility Module. Here you will learn how to extract rows from DB2 tables and create corresponding records in a sequential file. Once created, the sequential file may be used as input to the load utility. We begin at the primary menu and choose option 3.7 to extract and load tables. The legacy functions are available for compatibility with previous releases of FileAid for DB2. Although these functions are not covered in this module, one feature will be discussed a bit later. We continue by choosing option 1 for extract. Enter the name of the source table for the extraction. Note that if you are unsure of the name, wildcards may be used to display a list of tables. The next set of options includes using selection criteria to limit the number of rows processed. For more information, you may view the module on using selection criteria. The output information includes the name of the sequential file that will contain the extracted data. All other fields pertain to data disguise and are not relevant here. In this example, the target file is new, causing the display of a Create New File panel. After verifying and or changing the parameters here, causing the display of a Create New File panel. After verifying and or changing the parameters here, the JCL to run the extract job is ready to submit. Remember, the readiness of the JCL assumes that the user has visited option 0.3 from the primary menu, which is the Batch Options panel shown here, to complete a valid job statement. The Go primary command submits the job. We have used the abbreviation G. The job submitted message will then appear. It is up to the user to step outside FileAid to access the job queue, check the return codes from the extract job, view any messages, and finally browse the extract file shown here. Briefly, you will find a header record with an H prefix, multiple data records with D prefixes, and a trailer record with a T prefix. The trailer record also contains the count for the data records. Additional information in the extract file is used by FileAid when a table load is requested. The extract just completed was done in batch processing mode. The corresponding primary commands reference the JCL and a job. Here we use the mode command which changes the processing environment to online. The corresponding primary commands now reference the rex statements and execution. A new extract file would be allocated the same as in batch mode and a ready confirmation message appears. The go command launches the online processing and the related messages are automatically displayed. These are the same messages that appear with the progress and report DD statements when using batch processing. Having completed an extract, we will now choose option 2 and go through a load. We must specify the extract file containing the data to be loaded. The file itself must be from a file aid for DB2 extract. Either load option chosen will run as a batch job. 
Here we have chosen the IBM DB2 batch load utility. Although the JCL is ready to submit, we are going into the editor to point out where to find the load control statements. These are temporary files. Modify the JCL here to retain them. The job may be submitted here or upon exiting the editor as shown. To finish our look at this utility, we will go to the Legacy Functions and choose Option 3 to demonstrate how to do a quick extract on the fly. We enter the table name, choose Temporary Selection Criteria, and Online Processing. On the Template panel, we select a few columns, then enter the Execute command. On the next panel, we choose the standard format for the extract file, which puts the data items back to back. We accept the default name for the extract file. Finally, anticipating that we may want to view the extract file in formatted mode using FileAid MVS, we choose to have FileAid create a record layout. On the confirmation panel, we note the two most important files, the extract and the layout. Pressing Enter runs the extract and displays a summary. Next, we leave FileAid for DB2 and go to FileAid MVS Browse. We set the browse mode, specify the extract file, and the record layout information. Here we see the extracted data displayed in a convenient format. Finally, we are going to revisit the extract dataset format. This time we choose delimited rather than standard. The next panel displays the various options available. With the options shown, another extract was run. Let's browse the result. The most likely use of a delimited file would be customized input for a spreadsheet or other application. This concludes this module. Thank you.